What's going on guys? Josh with Mountain Man Outdoors. Also here with uh, Jeremiah, the young outdoorsman. So we got something different going on today. We hadn't done this in a while. And actually, this is just something that me and Jeremiah does all the time, is uh, tanning hides and making different things. And really, we've not done any of that on our channel thus far because really we was doing this, I've been doing this as long as I can remember. And of course, now my son's got into it, but uh, actually back during the winter when we were trapping and stuff, we really wasn't much in on doing much of our YouTube. We wasn't really taking that uh, mm -hmm. real serious. So uh, today guys, what we're doing is we're uh, in the process of finishing up a tanning a coon hide that Jeremiah trapped back during the winter. This is the last step. And this is actually the last step. And I apologize, we didn't get the rest of it on video, but he done that back, you know, like I said before, we uh, done a lot of this stuff, or before we was real serious on our YouTube. So more of that tanning, high tanning and uh, different stuff is going is coming up in the future. So y'all y'all stay with us for that for sure. But the last step on this coon hide is smoking the hide. And uh, so what we're doing is, uh, I'll, I'll show you, we're gonna get started here and smoke this hide. And then once we get the hide smoked and cleaned up, uh, we're going to take some, make some patterns, and uh, we're going to make Jeremiah a uh, coonskin trapper's hat. Yeah. All right, guys. So y'all stay tuned. All right, guys. Jeremiah's got us a fire going. Uh, we got to have a good bed of coals to uh, smoke these hides and finish up the tanning process. So he's got us one going there. We're going to let that build up and burn down to a good solid bed of coals, and then. Once we get our coals going, we've got this, uh, I'll just roll around a piece of uh, metal roofing. We're gonna use that as our pipe. And we're gonna fill that pipe up with coals and put our punk wood um, down in on top of that. And smother. just to smother and smolder and smoke. And that's what we want to run up in our hide. So I've got that coon hide. I'm working on it right now, uh, getting it shaped and put together like a tube. We'll slide the tube down over that pipe right there. So, uh, y'all stay with us. All right, guys, as Jeremiah's working on the fire, I'm taking this coon hide and I'm rolling it up in the tube and just taking these safety pins and putting it together all the way up. And I'm gonna fully close this whole, the whole back. I'm gonna flip the tail over, get everything, everything on the inside. We wanna be having access to the smoke. Also on the end, I'm gonna put this old sleeve out of the wet leather uh, welding jacket I'm gonna attach it right here. So it will look like that finally. And then this sleeve is what's gonna go over our, uh, our makeshift pipe that we've made. So what we've done is we've built a good hot fire and uh, we've kept the wood on it, kept it real hot and tall. And we've uh, let it burn down to just coals and charcoal. And uh, we've put this pipe here we put the coal, the hot coals down in the pipe. And then when we took this old rotten, punky pine here. Let me move a little bit. I got your face covered with this leg of the tripod. Just rotten pine. And see, it just falls apart. And it's got a lot of moisture in it, so it creates lots of smoke. It's good for smoking deer, meat, and fish, and stuff over a fire. But we've got this, this leather skirt making, we put the punk wood on top of the coals and we're directing, we're using this piece of leather to direct the smoke through the coon hide. And that finalizes the tanning process. Yep, because it. You can you can go through all the motions of tanning a hide. You can get your solution or you can use brain or whatever. Whatever you want to use. I think on this one we actually used- uh, I egg tanned it. Egg, we used egg yolk on this. And I apologize we didn't uh, video the tanning process. That was actually before me or Jeremiah is one really got big into our YouTube channel and making videos, so we'll we'll definitely video the next one. But uh, anyway, unless you smoke your hide, then all that is pointless because as of right now, uh, even though we've done fleshed it all, we've dried it, we've scraped it, we've we've used the egg tan on it. Um, even though all that's done, if it was get wet right now, it'd be right back to raw hide. So the smoke and it actually puts some things back into the hide from the smoke. Uh, the molecules in the smoke fill the empty molecules in the hide. 
Right. But and that finalizes the tanning process. Once once you tan it before even if you don't smoke it, once you tan it, it's a chemical process. So you can't physically get rawhide back out of it, but it'll get stiff like rawhide and unusable. Right. And uh, the smoking it makes it waterproof. Yeah. All right, guys. So once we get this thing smoked, uh, it'll be it'll be breathable, but not but waterproof. Right. And also, um, the color of your leather that you want depends on how much smoke and and the type of punk wood. Yeah. How long? But since this is just going to be a hat and all that's going to be covered up anyway, um, we're not going to be real too particular on the coloring of it. We just wanted a good. We want to we want smoke to penetrate real good and uh, finalize the tanning process. So, anyway, let me uh, let me get repositioned. I'll show you how the smoke's used going through this hide like a chimney. Right, there you can see the smoke's coming out the top of the hide, um, just like a chimney. That's that's good moist smoke right there. Yeah, that's a good smoke. All right, guys, we'll get back to you once we get this thing. Uh, once we get it smoked and where we want it he's going to clean this hide real good and we'll start laying it out laying out our patterns for the hat for the hat we're going to make all right guys she's smoking good now that's what we want to see You ain't gonna be able to see some of the. Yeah, it's gonna have probably gonna have a liner in it eventually anyway. Let's open it up right there and show what color it looks like. You'll not be able to get. You're not gonna be able to get that sleeve off there. Really. All right, guys. So there's the color of the leather that we wanted, and the camera actually don't do it justice. Mm -mm. That's a, that's a real good orangish color. Uh, it's, it's like a little bit lighter colored caramel brown. Yeah. All right, so that's the color we're going to go with. And he's uh, going to get this thing all unbuttoned. And we'll show it to you once uh, we'll lay it open there. All right, guys, there it is all stretched out there. Uh, we've got it opened up. And the colors that is is right on spot with what we want. You can tell the difference. Right here's where the sleeve come up to on the inside of that hide. You can tell the big difference. And this part's just scrap part anyway. So, all right guys, that color's looking really good. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get our pattern laid out and get some of this material cut off here that we're gonna use. And we'll get back with you. What do you think, bud? I like it. All right, guys. Let me show you what I've got. I've got this pattern and I've got this one. Basically what we've done, this, this hat is for Jeremiah. So I, I just took a simple tape measure, measured around his head, and we come up with 21 and a half inches. 22. Well, I added a half inch for stitching purposes. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. So that gives us 22 for, for the uh, diameter. All right, we laid that out kind of in the shape of his head. Once we got this cut, we measured out 22 inches on here. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do this in three different pieces as far as the, the band around the, around the sides. I'm gonna do a front because you got to be real conscious of which way you, you want your hair to go. So what, I, what the ideal thing is, is on the front of your hat, the hair needs to go up. And then the top part, which would be this part, you want the hair to lay back toward the back. So we're gonna cut this, this is the diameter, and we're gonna cut this in three pieces. I'm gonna do it in threes. 
I want the hair going up on this, this piece, which I'm gonna have it cut about right there where my fingers are. The side pieces, you kind of want the hair going this way. And the basic shape of the hat, the stitching to join these together, the main stitching is gonna be in the back. There's your top. So the main hat's gonna be kind of kind of shaped just like that. Nothing special, uh, it's nothing complicated. And then we're gonna have the tail coming off the bottom right here. So we've got our stencils laid out. I'm gonna go ahead and get a mark on the hide, um, the parts that we wanna use, and uh, we'll start getting those cut out. See, this is going to be my front, the top front. This is going to be a side. This is going to be my top center. This is going to be my other side. Now, I'm going to cut the tail off along right here, but we'll reattach it later on. So that's where we're at now. Now, I'm fixing to cut this out. And what you want to do when you cut this out, cut it from the leather side. Use a sharp knife and just ease along those lines and uh, don't try to cut with scissors or anything like that. You'll cut the hair and you'll just ruin the whole look of it. Hey guys, right here's where we're at. I've got all the pieces cut out. And uh, as you've probably seen in the time lapse, went ahead and took uh, this little awl and made all my holes all the way around the top piece, uh, down three sides of all the sides, and the tail. So uh, all that work's done. So now it just comes to the time to uh, start stitching everything together. Now, when you stitch it together, you, you're going to make this hat inside out. Um, when you make the hat, the leather is going to be showing on the outside. You stitch it completely together and then uh, you clip it inside out. Taking time about. I got it zoomed in, so give me this a minute. So we're getting close. We're like just uh, stitching's just, all we're done. Just stitching. Gotta, do. gotta be real careful and make sure the hair lays the way we want it to lay, so you don't pull it in with the stitches. But uh, other than that, it's coming on quite nicely, and it's. Uh, yes, sir, it is. All right, guys, I'm going to get back to this. I'm going to put it back on time lapse and we'll, we'll get it finished up. We'll uh, show you what it looks like.
right, guys. There's his hat all done. Spin around there just a little bit. Give you a side view. All right, let's look at the back and the other side. You see the way we've got the hair laying, everything blended up really good. So, all right, guys. This is Mountain Men Outdoors saying uh, y'all watch your top knot.